Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is in which the grade of redness in seeds is determined by polygenes. A plant with medium red seeds was selfed and gave distinct progeny classes that were dark red, red, medium red, light red and white in decreasing order of redness. The number of heterozygous polygene loci in the original plant was and we have to choose the correct answer. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, let's assume that only one gene controls this trait. So, uh, in this case, we are going to have uh, a cross of the genotype, say, which is going to be heterozygous for the gene A with uh, the same genotype. As you remember, according to our problem, a plant with medium redness was selfed. So, parent 1 and parent 2 have to be of the same genotype. So, what we are going to get in this case. Now, imagine we have a simple Punnett square here and once again this is mm, additive trait. What does it mean? It means that uh, dominant allele would add um, more than recessive allele. For example, uh, recessive allele would be defective and uh, it's not going to add any color at all. So it's just mutant allele. And dominant allele would add red color. So what we are going to have here dominant A, dominant A here, dominant and recessive allele here, dominant and recessive allele, and recessive recessive allele here. And we would have dark red here, we would have medium red here, maybe pink, because only one allele would produce um, pigment and another allele is going to be defective and is not going to add any color. And here we are going to have a white color because both alleles are going to be defective. So we are going to have a dark red in this case and here we are going to have uh, medium red or pink color and here we are going to have uh, white. So with only one gene we can get one, two, three different distinctive groups that would have a different uh, color, uh, intensity of the color depending on the uh, number of uh, normal and defective alleles. But, as you see, uh, one gene hypothesis would give us only three distinctive groups. And we are looking, let's count how many groups. So we have uh, dark red, this is going to be one group. Red, this is going to be a second. Medium red, this is going to be third. Light red, fourth. And white would be fifth group. So now let's assume that we have, uh, and by the way, uh, parental generation in this case uh, would be of the intermediate color as you see. So uh, again, this is according to our problem, uh, once again, in which the grade of redness in seeds is determined by uh, polygenes, a plant with medium. So plant with medium red. So somewhere in the middle. Uh, and we know that uh, both parents have to be of the same genotype because uh, of the uh, of this expression was selfed. So uh, both plants, both parents have same genotype because came from the same genetic source. And now let's assume that we have uh, two gene hypotheses. So we have gene A and B. Once again, parent 
um, one would be heterozygous for the gene A and for the gene B, and parent two also would have the same genotype. And in this case, how many uh, distinct uh, variants we are going to have. So, uh, if we cross these two parents, uh, what say parent parent 1 and here is going to be parent 2 what type of gametes these two parents may produce the first variant would be for the parent 1 genotype that is going to be of the gametes capital A and capital B second variant would be capital A and small b so capital A and small b uh, next variant would be small a and capital B small a and capital B and the last variant would be small a and small b so small a and small b so uh, each parent, parent 1 and parent 2 would be able to produce this four variants of the gametes and this is true for the parent 1 and for the parent 2 because both these parents have the same genotypes and that means they would produce the same type of the gametes and of course in this case we can build a simple Punnett square so uh, parent 2 also can produce the same type of uh, gametes so capital A capital B capital A and small b small a capital B and small a small b now if we build simple Punnett square we would be able to find all the variants and we are going to have 16 cells here but some of the genotypes would repeat and for example in this cell we are going to have capital A capital A capital B and capital B and in this cell we are going to have small a small a and small b small b so we already got two variants for example this is going to be uh, dark red uh, the plant the progeny with this genotype and progeny with this genotype is going to be white but we also may have here different intermediate genotypes uh, for example uh, capital A and capital A here and small b capital B here as you see now uh, it's going to be distinct from this genotype here we have four alleles that produce uh, pigment but here we have only three alleles that produce pigment and by the way um, genotypes can be different because this is quantitative uh, genetics for example take a look here we have uh, capital A and small a here and capital B and capital B here so it is different genotype but once again if we have uh, three dominant alleles here and one recessive in this genotype we also have three dominant allele and one recessive so we group these two together they would produce as much pigment uh, as this variant and as this variant so how many a distinct group we are going to have here I don't want to spend the time to complete uh, and uh, write genotype in every cell here basically we just can use a logic method and um, first variant would be when all four alleles would be dominant this is a first variant another variant would be when uh, one of the alleles would be uh, recessive another variant would be when two alleles would be recessive 
and another variant would be when three alleles would be recessive and one dominant and the last variant would be when four alleles would be recessive. So we would have uh, different uh, intensity of the pigment. Here it's going to be uh, maximum and here it's going to be minimal. So because every, uh, every allele here is going to be defective and is not going to uh, produce any pigment. And here we have all four alleles that is uh, normal and produce pigment. And for example here we have three alleles and one allele that is defective, so least pigment. And for example here we have uh, two defective and two, uh, sorry, uh, three defective and one normal. So it's going to be uh, light uh, red. And now, as you see, we have uh, five groups. One, two, three, four, and five. Those we are going to have uh, more variants of the genotypes in each group. For example, first uh, allele can be recessive, and then three can be dominant. And uh, second variant when second allele recessive and three dominant. Third variant when third allele recessive and three dominant. And the last variant when last allele is recessive and three dominant. So basically we are going to have uh, one variant uh, here. We are going to have four variants here and four variants here. One variant here and six variants here. How do I know? How did I calculate number of variants here so fast? Because this is actually, as you see, uh, resembles um, what we can see in Pascal's triangle. The order one, four, six, four, one is the same order as you can see in Pascal's triangle. But, once again, uh, the number of the distinctive um, different uh, shades of uh, red color would be 5. And this is exactly what uh, we told in our problem. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 uh, different uh, intensity of the red color. And, as you see, the correct answer would be that uh, this trait under the control, this is uh, once again uh, quantitative trait is under the control of uh, two loci, uh, which is um, heterozygous. So variant A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any, share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.